Welcome to my review of the Easy SMX gaming mouse. I've reviewed a few of these gaming mouses recently and I have to say they are all very good. They're more than just the gimmicks you need for gaming. These are actually just very good mice that work on almost any surface. So here we are, here's the parcel from Amazon and um, I wasn't quite sure what was in it I must admit because I knew the mouse was coming but I'd only ordered one or at least I thought I'd only ordered one and there were two in the parcel so uh, I was able to sort that out uh, uh, without any problem thanks to the um, uh, seller who wanted one of them sent on somewhere else uh, and they came typical Amazon efficiency another order from another seller and they packed them all together because uh, obviously that saves a bit of messing about so here's the mouse box itself so I'm just uh, in the process of opening it up to see what's inside um, it's quite a nice box and I was trying to avoid damaging it I noticed that it opens out as a nice display case there um, in fact if you're buying one of these as a present for someone the box it comes in is really quite nice you just need to wrap it up and you've uh, given them a nice uh, well presented present uh, open out the lid and the mouse itself is in a little um, plastic housing and it also comes with a manual and a uh, CD with a software program on that you can see just on the desk uh, underneath everything there and I'm just opening up the box that the uh, weights came in um, there uh, uh, to obviously to adjust the feel of the mouse and then just taking the mouse out of its case um, just to have a quick look at it it's a, it's, it's a really nice mouse, it feels nice, um, obviously it's a wired mouse, there's no batteries to mess around with or anything like that, um, and uh, as always it's worth checking on the hand, I've got quite small hands, this is quite a large mouse, but it fits me very nicely indeed, so I'm sure it'll be fine for most people. Um, and uh, next we're going to have a look at how the mouse works with some other bits and pieces. What I want to do now, while I'm holding the uh, camera in one hand, is to just take the uh, weight straw out of this mouse. There's the weight straw, and here's the little box the weights come in. You get four weights, three of them are 10 grams, that's about a third of an ounce, and one of them is five grams, that's about a sixth of an ounce. There they are. The lightest one has to fit in the compartment at the end here. You can see there's a couple of little lugs there which stop any of the other weights from going in there and which locate this one in there. So you can fit as many or as few of these as you want. They all just clip in. I've just put two in for now. Then you slide the thing back in here and it locks in. And you have to press this button to release the uh, weight tray again. So unlike some mouses where the weights can uh, slide out, this one they're pretty securely held in place. They do definitely make a difference to the feel of the mouse. Uh, I've been using it with all the weights in today. Um, it works quite well with or without the weights as far as I'm concerned, but I'm sure if you're a gamer and the speed at which your mouse accelerates and decelerates is important to you, putting some weights in could make quite a difference to performance. I, I, I must confess I do slightly prefer the feel of it with the weights in. And here's the mouse being used on my off-white desk at work, which is a real killer surface for mouses, and it seems to be working fine. And here we are, this is Profile 1, so you can see I've got all the default functions for the buttons set up on Profile 1. And on Profile 2, I've changed a couple of them, so the Fire and Home buttons are now copy and paste. You can uh, define up to five different formats, if you want, uh, five different profiles if you want to. And here is the Performance tab, where you can change things like the DPI setting and how fast the pointer accelerates and so on. And there is the mouse just sitting on a white surface ready to be used. Um, I like this mouse. It's more than just the extra features that you get because it's a gaming mouse. It's the fact that the mouse is a good quality mouse, works well on any surface and feels nice in the hand. Uh, those are important features to me. And the programmable keys are quite useful too because I can set them up for shortcuts for either gaming or office things. Uh, all in all, this is an excellent mouse and I thoroughly recommend